hello everybody uh, this is my first arduino project you can see that here i have used a microcontroller then this is the breadboard i have coded all these things then uh, when you press this button over here you can see that this is a simple circuit which consists of uh, this breadboard then uh, digital then integrated circuits over here that's all thank you hello everybody i'm aditya shankar this is my first project on pro country uh, here what i have done is i have connected this uh, system and this program uh, what happens is when i press this button over here you can see that the led, LED starts glowing uh, we have connected here this uh, circuit with the laptop you can see that uh, i have done this programming here this is the hardware component which you see here here you can see all these circuits this is our in a board then uh, this is the software component these are connected but uh, they work together when you press this button here you can see this that's all hi everybody i am arik krishan kar You can see that this is my second project based on microcontroller. This is the hardware part of the project. You can see that here. This is the potentiometer. This is the Arduino board. We have connected this to the program. This is the software part. I can run this program. Let's look at it. When we input this potentiometer, uh, you can see that the values in the program are changing. this push button over here to this arduino board here uh, this uh, wires are connected to the digital places here and this is connected to a programming here you can see that uh, uh, this programming is here it is done by me when you work with this here you can see that the digital signals are coming here when i press this button over here You can see that here it becomes zero. When I release the button, it becomes one. When I press this button, it becomes zero. Uh, in the previous video, we had uh, spoken about uh, analog signals. Now it is about the digital signals. Thank you. I'm Aditya Shankar with the Fort Microcontroller project. Here we have connected this LED bulb with this light sensor. This is the microcontroller Arduino board. This is the laptop with which we have done the pro programming here. Uh, here, what happens is that in this circuit, when darkness, when there is no light, we get the, the light sensor senses that. Uh, through that, the LED bulb gets on. This is the process where the uh, food, uh, food lamps, uh, sorry, street lamps are uh, done. You can see that in the program now LED light is on. When there is no light falling on the LED, you can see that the LED is on. When there is light falling on the LED, the LED gets off. Okay. Hello everybody, I am Arit Shankar. This is our fifth project with the buser and LED and LED and LED. In the last project, we did not use the buser, but here we are using the buser. Uh, the only extra thing here is the buser. You can see that all the other things are same as the fourth project. Here we have also done the computer programming. You can see that the message here is alarm is deactivated. When I switch on the light here. Yes, 
next project button bus of the road you can see that this is the Arduino board this is the red board this is the buzzer this is the button these are the resistors it is connected to the software I have hope for this one now you can see that when I press this button so I can the buzzer starts to be This is the ultrasonic sensor, this is the Arduino board, we have connected it to a software. I have a major program here. The process here is what happens is, here the radiation is given by this ultrasonic sensor. Whatever comes as obstacle in its way, the distance between the sensor and the obstacle is measured by this sensor. That is given in this program. measured by the ultrasonic sensor in the, in the screen view. That is the distance between the obstacle and the ultrasonic sensor. This is used in C and any other used objects. This is the Arduino board and this is the server model. Yeah. This is the IP police program over there. This is the hardware and this is the software. Here what you can see is, it is given here as 10 to 0 degrees. Here whatever angle we give, for example, if we give here 180 degrees, the road matter will turn by 180 degrees as you can see. This is what happens. This is used in robot cars, etc. Thank you. Stop. Hello, I am Arthur Shankar with the Night Microcontroller project. It is called as Servo Motivation External Supply. Here you can see that this is a battery, it is also called as external supply. 9 volt battery is. This is the brake board, this is the Arduino board, this is the servo motor. You can see that it is rotating here. It is connected to the software system here. The programming is done. You can see that uh, when the servo motor starts from 0 degree, it starts rotating clockwise till 180 degree. Then it starts rotating anti clockwise. Good evening everyone. I am Aditya Shankar with my 17th microcontroller project. Uh, this is based on a system where uh, this is the sound processor here. This is the hardware part, this is the software part. Here what happens is basically when any object comes in front of this thing, uh, it detects that thing and here LED also glows. You can also hear the sound that comes with it. This is the programming which we have done. You can also see that the distance can be measured during the sensor. Servo motor. Uh, this is the app which I have created. You can see that uh, when I press the different angles present here, the servo motor runs according to that angle. When I change the angle to different angles, that is 90, 135, or any angle, the blade in this uh, servo motor turns according to that angle. Pressed here, that is also given in the serial monitor. Thank you. I am Arjun with my 19th Arduino project. This project is called a sound sensor with LED. Here, what happens is the sound sensor is connected to this. It is also connected to the LED here. This is connected to the Arduino here. This is connected to the uh, software setup which I have programmed here. You can see that. In this circuit, what happens is that whenever some sound is sensed by this sound sensor, the LED glows. Like the LED glows when I play a song.
That's all. Thank you. Ultrasonic sensor with LCD display and distance meter. This is the circuit for the project. Here, what happens is that in this ultrasonic sensor, when any object comes in front of that, uh, the, distance the distance between the sensor and the object is uh, shown in the uh, LCD display. This is the programming which I have done here. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is my 21st uh, microcontroller project. This is calculator using LCD and Arduino mode. Uh, this is the LCD which is present here. This is the uh, keypad where I enter the numbers for using the calculator. This is the programming which I have done for the calculator. You can see here that uh, when I press the number, Uh, when I press the button 12 here, it displays 12, uh, plus or minus, uh, when I press 8 here, it will displays 8, which is equal to 4. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Aditya Shankar here with my 22nd admin project. This is called as a security system using servo motor and keypad. What happens is that this is the password where you enter it. This will be connected to the door which will open later when you enter the correct password. This is the coding which I have done here. Let me run it once. It gives us a lot. The door will automatically open and it will close later. Thank you.